Hi guys, this is uh, Stephen with the Guardian Group of Alabama. And this video is going to clear up some things. Uh, I've been seeing it a lot lately. even saw it this morning. I was reading uh, uh, a little post there made by someone that, uh, you know, you would think would know better and talking about how the Constitution uh, gives us rights. Let me clear this up. The Constitution does not give you anything. The Bill of Rights does not give you anything. Those rights are yours. All right, the reason that was put in there wasn't to give you anything. It was to articulate that those rights were acknowledged and were to be protected. The, the Bill of Rights doesn't grant you uh, the right to have a firearm. It doesn't grant you the right to speak whatever you choose. It doesn't grant you anything. Uh, those rights are yours. You were born with those rights. And, you know, if you if you go into it uh, from the Library of Congress, I, I just took a, a quick look on that. Uh, you know, it's, it's said in the paper, and I'm trying to glance over it here, too, and my editing software is done, so I have to do all this in one take. But it was... They put that in there. It says here from the Library of Congress, even though the Federalists believed that individual rights were fully protected by state and common law, they knew that anti-Federalists would never embrace the new Constitution until amendments protecting specific rights were adopted. Therefore, in 1789, Congress passed proposed amendments to the Constitution as one of its first orders of business. Alright? So that right there, your, uh, you know, your Bill of Rights, that's when it became the bedrock of individual rights and liberties. But, as I said, Bill of Rights doesn't give you anything. It doesn't grant you rights. Uh, the last I checked, uh, you know, people out are, are the people in the United States the only one with these rights? No. If you were born wherever, you have a right to defend yourself. Uh, if if there was no if there was no law, no government, or nothing anywhere. You would still have a right to defend yourself. Period. Before the United States was created, uh, you know, people defended themselves. So the Constitution didn't give you anything. Uh, the Bill of Rights didn't. Uh, it merely said that the government recognized those rights and it was put in place for those rights to be protected. Now, we could go into an hour-long discussion about how those rights are being now trampled. Uh, and that that's not the point of this video. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to clear that up because I keep hearing, I keep hearing different uh, people and, and organizations talk about the rights that was given us through the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. And that's just entirely wrong. Uh, I would suggest, and this may sound a little condescending, uh, but I would suggest those that think that way go back and actually read the Constitution and take another class uh, and things like this so you can understand it better before you start telling other people and, and, and you know, trying to impress them with, with, your, with your knowledge. Uh, actually go back and get it right. So uh, that's just one of the things. And when I see stuff like that, yes, it, it's it's certain pet peeves of mine that that uh, that start this off. And when people misquote or misinterpret something as important as this, the Bill of Rights is very important. But. As I've stated now <laughs> several times, it wasn't put in place to grant you anything. 
that was a reminder to the government that these rights should be, you know, individually or to be protected. So those that would come against the Bill of Rights, uh, you know, you, you, you seem to have a problem in understanding human nature uh, to begin with. Because a person, uh, you know, like with the right to keep and bear arms, uh, before America was ever even conceived, uh, people defended themselves. People had the right to defend themselves. They had a right to say whatever. And this politically correct garbage that's going around is intrusive. Uh, before America, people had the right to assemble if they wanted to. If there was no government around, uh, government is what restricts those rights of human nature. You can go, uh, you know, if, if, if you went to and found some lost tribe that has never been discovered before, I'm pretty sure they don't have the Constitution. But they know that should they be attacked, they can defend themselves. They know that, you know, they can say things. Now, there might be repercussions, but they have a right to say it, and there's none of this politically correct garbage that's going on now where people get offended by every single little thing that comes around. You know, they're looking, they wake up in the morning looking for something to be offended by, which is completely sickening. And, and if you're a man uh, and everything somebody says offends you, and hurt your little girl uh, spirit there and breaks you down to where you've got to pitch a, a temper tantrum, uh, please uh, make an appointment with your doctor and let him do a physical to check and see if you actually have a set. Because if a lot of the whining and stuff that I hear uh, is complete nonsense and get offended over a word. Really? Uh, <laughs> so here, that's my take on all this uh, I appreciate all the, the comments and feedback that I've been getting with some of it but uh, I hope this helps go back, you can go to the Library of Congress you can read all this I'll actually uh, post a link under this video so you can go back and, and read some of the stuff uh, pertaining to the writing of the Constitution the Bill of Rights and uh, 